Hi, I'm Michael from Talabs, and I'm here in Washington DC at our Optical Land Convention where I'd like to demonstrate to you our dual redundant OLT solution uh, which we have configured in front of me. Uh, from a high level, um, we have basic redundancy within the OLTs such as the fans, the power supply and the ESU management via the Ethernet links. However, today's demonstration is more tailored with providing geographic diversity of the GPON links to two different sites to one ONT. So what you'll see in front of me today is we have a primary OLT at the bottom and we have our redundant OLT at the top all connected by a distribution network using single wide fiber through to a 232 splitter and then onto one of our OLTs here which is a basic desktop unit and our second OLT which is our new 120 product which is either wall mountable or cubicle configurable. The primary things that we should be looking at today within the redundancy is around the lights that are presented across the OLTs and you'll see that on the primary OLT below we have two green active lights the left light being for management connectivity and the right light being for the actual optical line connectivity. And you'll see that on the redundant OLT that we have a red light on the top left. And what will happen is when I pull the primary circuit that the active OLT being the, uh, will become primary and will have two green lights on the top. The other key aspects that we should be looking at is that on the ONTs that we have the optical and the LAN will stay green. However, the LAN will flicker as it reconverges with the end device. So to go ahead, I'll just pull the primary and you'll see that we lose our optical primary solution and we've already reverted to our redundant solution with two dual greens. And if you might have also seen that there wasn't any outage to the optical LAN green light which is connected now to the secondary OLT. So just to sort of recap what we just did there, the primary OLT went down in building A and we've removed it to building B and connectivity was immediately restored from an optical perspective. We can also revert back to our primary and we have introduced a revertive timer of about 15 seconds into this solution so that we don't get any flapping, but I'll demonstrate that. And we'll see the light switch from the top to the bottom. There we go, we've got a green light at the bottom now. And we just need to wait for the database management connectivity to resync and we'll get dual green lights once again. And once again, you'll also see that on the RT, we didn't have any outage on the optical green light here. Um, the interesting aspect to also maintain is that the primary and the redundancy within the OLTs both have identical configurations in their databases. So from the original provisioning, when we configure it, we can tell that the bottom, we can tell the management station that the bottom OLT will be our primary solution or our primary access and that the top one will be our redundant access and we can also tell it revertive and uh, failover times within that scenario as well but they both have an identical copy of the configuration for this ONT, uh, both present at one time. So thank you very much, and if you would like some further details on our optical products, please visit tellabs.com and look for our access products. Thank you.